Good morning, everyone, and happy Canada Day to you. Uh, let me just get this in the um, in the screen here. So it is uh, Jelly Bean Crafting here, and we're just going to make this uh, fancy fold that I had posted on my page the other day. Um, yesterday? Yesterday, I think. So there was a lot of interest in it, so I thought I would go ahead and actually um, show you how I did it. So this is the card that I had made. So if you uh, were watching my posts, or you saw it on the demonstrator planning page. So it's this really fun accordion fancy fold. And so I actually watched a video about this card on Lisa's uh, stamping spot. So that's another uh, video you could check out. Um, that's where I got it from or where I had seen it or I'd heard about it. I'd heard accordion fold and then I uh, searched it because I wanted to see um, what was going on and how to do it. So that is where we're at. So this was my original card, okay? And now I had the red up here because I thought it was very patriotic for today. I'm gonna flip this over so we have the white side so that it is not so distracting for us. And we're gonna keep this card off to the side. So we're using the Forever Fern, or I chose to use the Forever Fern bundle. So we have the stamp set and we have the matching dies and we have the paper, we have ribbon. There are so many things, it's gorgeous. And I thought since I was making a second version of this card, we would use some of the different DSPs and just a slightly different color combo. So everything else is gonna be the same, measurements, all of that is gonna be the same, everything that I'm showing you. So uh, we will move this card off to the side and I'm just going to put my pieces over to this side here and we will get started and you're going to see how we're going to work through this card. So I'm actually going to bring this one back into our display here for a second. Um, this card, so we have a belly band, that's what this piece is, but you could totally use ribbon. So that's going to be another option I'm just going to show at the end. So it's mounted on a card base. That card base is just like your standard card measurement. So this is our, you know, five and a five and a half, pardon me, four and a quarter by five and a half. So this would be like half a card front is what we've got going on here. Okay. And then we are going to layer it with our standard mat. So this is going to be your four and a four by five and a quarter. And we're just gonna put those two pieces together and somewhere down here, oh, I have my uh, stamp and seal. I'm not sure if all of you know about this new product yet or you know the trick about using it, so we will go over that while we're doing this. Um, I always like to use my silicone sheet, that way I don't get adhesive anywhere else. So when you're using the stamp and seal, it really is geared to have your hand be in a specific position. So your your ring, not your ring, your index finger is here, your two fingers are here, and you are meant to be holding this pretty much parallel to your paper. Okay, so you're gonna run it along. It's much quieter than snail, but you can see it, hopefully. And then once you get to the end, you actually kind of have to go vertical and roll it a bit that way, and that will keep the tape right at the edge that you want. If you don't do that, it's not the end of the world, but you're going to then have to advance it a little bit with your finger. So I have learned that the hard way and then I reached out to all the demonstrators on here um, to figure out why I was having so much trouble. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing and then I'm gonna do that. And again. And once more. So once you get the hang of it, it's lovely, but uh, it was, a, I'm not gonna lie, it was a tiny bit frustrating when I didn't sort of have it figured out. So sharing that with all of you in case uh, you are also finding it frustrating or if you don't have it yet for when you get it. Okay, so this is our base. We don't need this now for a little bit, so we're gonna put that aside. 
Now we need to do the scoring on this piece. So this piece is four and a quarter by 11. So again, another standard card. Just, uh, we're gonna fold it a little bit different and we're gonna have a little bit of fun with that. So I'm gonna move this all to the side here for a second so that we can bring in the trimmer and do the scoring. I actually might uh, pull out the grid instead, or the score tool, so that you can see all of the scoring we're going to do at once. I will type the score measurements in the comments as well after we're finished. So we have this piece, we have four and a quarter, like I said, by 11. So we are going to score at three inches. We are going to score again at five and a half. So five and a half would be your card, right? If you folded that in half, five and a half. We're gonna score again at eight. And we are gonna score at nine and a half. So this is, you can see how this is gonna fold onto itself. And then it's gonna go on our card front. All right, so we will put this aside. So when we're doing a fancy fold, if no other time, this is when you really wanna use your bone folder. If you don't have a bone folder, then you could use the edge of a stamp pad, you could use a ruler, you can really just use your finger, but you wanna have a really nice crisp fold. So if we think about how this card is gonna to go together, it's gonna to go together like this. So this is gonna fold this way. And what I found when I folded my first one is that uh, it kind of all went a little bit uh, askew. So I'm just gonna make super, uh, pay attention to that this time while I'm doing that. Okay, so that's going to be that. Then it's gonna fold this way. So I'm gonna make sure those edges are really lined up. And honestly, it, it worked out fine. I think it's just how it will go when you fold onto itself. And then we're gonna fold again here. Make sure that's lined up. We're gonna use our bone folder. And then we are gonna fold again like this. And there you have it. So there is your fold. And then we're just going to uh, decorate and attach. So pretty straightforward, but looks super fancy. I chose to do the belly band because I liked the idea of decorating that. If you did not want to use a belly band, once you decorate this, which we're going to do with all those pieces, then you could choose to just use ribbon. So this just happens to be a piece of ribbon I have handy. So it's old olive, it does match. So you could use some tear tape, uh, some of the Stampin' Seal Plus, something that's gonna give you a really good hold on your ribbon. You could attach your ribbon and then attach that to your card front. And you could use ribbon instead of a belly band as a way to keep the fold closed. So I just wanna offer that as an alternative. If you find the belly band is a bit fussy um, or you're just worried that's an extra layer in an envelope, um, or you just don't want to go through the extra step of the die cuts and the stamping, then you could just use a piece of ribbon. And then your sentiment would have to either be on one of your panels or would have to be inside. Okay? So that is your other option with the ribbon. So we're just going to decorate this. And you're really just going to take an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch off each of the sides to um, get your measurements. So I chose to use different paper because I went, because this paper is gorgeous and there's so many options. Um, and these are the ones I went with and you can kind of lay it out ahead of time figuring out which paper is going to go where so you can see what it's going to look like when you're when the fold is open and if you like what you got going on. So this paper here I cut at uh, one and a quarter and then we're going to want to depending on how much of a border you want so I'm going to do four and an eighth because I don't want a ton of border. I did a little bit more border on this one. Um, so you could just do it at four, but I like the idea of four and an eighth. So I'm going to pull out my little mini trimmer here, and this was uh, during celebration, but this is actually now available as a supply item. So if you're a demonstrator, it just got added to the supply item list, and you can purchase this little cutter. The other thing you're going to pull out is just your trimmer, but I'm just going to have this because it's quick and easy. 
So there is that piece, four and an eighth. So we're gonna make them all four and an eighth. This one is going to be the one that lines the inside and you're just gonna to wanna to choose in your design what you want. So I know that I want down here, it seems to me that it has more leaves and I want all those leaves. So there's our four and an eighth of this. We're going to do four of an eighth in this pattern. Oh, and I'm guessing you wanna know how wide these are. So this one is two and two and three eighths wide. This guy is up to you. I think I did him five eighths. And that you're gonna see where that piece goes in them. So we need two of these. You could use a different pattern. Um, I'm gonna use the same one and I'm just gonna use the opposite side of it just because I've already cut the piece of paper this wide. So you might as well use it twice in your project. At least that's my turn. And then we also need a piece of Whisper White because this is where your person, your person, this is where you're going to uh, put your greeting. So again, this one I have already cut and this is now, this one is two and seven eighths. And then we're gonna want it to be the four and one eighth again. All right, I can't, uh, I see some comments. Let's see if I can uh, have them show up here. Do you prefer, oh, I see someone asked, hi everyone. Hey Teresa, do I prefer the seal to the snail? Well, we can't get the snail anymore, so it kind of doesn't really matter if I prefer the snail or not, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna this is my honest answer. Um, I actually, now that I've gotten the hang of the seal, I really like it. Do I have a bunch of snail that I need to use up? Yes. Did I buy a bunch because I wasn't sure what was gonna happen with the seal? Yes. Um, did I also buy a bunch of seal because I wasn't sure if customers were going to be like, oh my gosh, can I not get snail anymore? And then I was at least going to have some that they would be able to get their hands on. Okay, so moving on, we are going to just adhere all of this now. So we're gonna use, I'm gonna pull out the silicone sheet again. We're going to pull out the snail or not the snail. See, I'm gonna have to get used to that. The seal, and uh, we're gonna put our pieces on. When I have pieces this thin, I generally don't do all four sides. I do the top and bottom, and then I usually do a couple of strips across. I just find it easier. But, you know, there's no rhyme or reason, right or wrong. And then, of course, we're gonna wanna make sure we have this in the right direction. That's the only thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your paper is directionally correct because nothing is worse than getting it on your card and realizing you have put it upside down. Because that is the worst. I'm gonna open this up because that also is going to be easier. Everybody's got their own tricks for making sure things go on straight. I actually generally like to do mine by having my card open. Okay, so that's that piece. And then if we look at our original, I left this side blank and then the next two. So we're gonna leave this one empty. This one you're going to see when the card is folded. This one you're going to see when you open the card. So that's you know how you're going to decide which piece you're gonna put where. And then our white is gonna go over here and then this is that other strip you're going to see when the card is folded. So you do need something pretty at this very edge. Um, if you leave it just white, that's fine. That's what you'll see. Or if you had the colored cardstock, then that would be what you would see. But just knowing that that's how the fold works and that's what you're going to see when the card is together. Okay, so we're just gonna do all these edges. I know at the moment the people who are watching are Canadian, so happy Canada Day to you. Uh, it's so rainy here, it's kind of unfortunate. We were had plans because of course there's no Canada Day festivities, not nothing really, nothing like we would normally do. So Kiddo had agreed that he would go for a bike ride run with us, just an easy sort of 5k. He was gonna ride his bikes. My husband and I were gonna run, and uh, it is pouring with rain, so that is currently not what we are doing. But hopefully the day will brighten up and that will change. 
Right now they were meant to be reading or something, but now I see that I have a nine-year-old here, so that's clearly not what's happening any longer. We're gonna attach this. So this card is really quite straightforward. Once you do the cutting and scoring, it's just a, it's just about adhering all your DSP. And then if you want to make the belly band, um, we'll do that piece and that part is not hard at all. And then you get a little bit of stamping. Uh, alternatively, you could um, do a bunch of stamped images on white cardstock or pale colored cardstock if you didn't want to use DSP. But what this card is really great for is showcasing DSP or when you're getting to the end of a catalog and you realize, oh my gosh, I have so much DSP left. What am I gonna do with it? This is a great way to use it up. Okay, so we've got that piece on. And now we're gonna put a little bit of seal on this guy. And that part is done. So we're gonna attach this. I'm gonna put it right at the edge. You want it to cover the white so you can see, this is how you know if you're putting it on straight. Okay, good. So we're almost finished here. We're just going to do the band and put the card together and we will be done. We also have to adhere, adhere it to our card front. So we're at that piece. So the band is one and a half by nine and a half. And I didn't actually score this at all. I just fold it around. So before we can do the band, we have to put this part of the card together. So just one last reminder, if you didn't want to use the band, this is, would be when you would put down a piece of ribbon, then your card front, and then that would be the way that your card would close with the ribbon instead of the band. This piece we're gonna put on. Uh, I think I might have used my stamp and seal when I made my original card, or my seal plus, but I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually don't know where I placed it at the moment. So we're just going to use this one. And I'm clearly going to need to find it. So put this again. So I will probably put a bit extra because we don't want this piece to fall off of our card front. I don't imagine for a second that it would, but I'm going to put an extra strip down the middle. And then I'm going to fold this up so that we can ensure that it is centered. All right, once we have that on, I'm gonna apply lots of pressure just to ensure we have a good bond with our adhesive. All right, so there is our card front. So here's our band and we're gonna, I know when I did this before, I did it 100% even. I use my ruler and everything. It doesn't really matter. You're going to want to place it on there roughly in the middle and then you're just going to fold it over. And then once you've folded it over, you're just going to kind of let it relax a tiny bit. You don't want it to be super tight. Like you don't want to fold it and then have it really tightly held because you won't then be able to slide it on and off. It'll be a bit of a pain. So fold it over, get those creases and then just kind of let it loose a tiny bit, grab your adhesive again while it's still on your card. And I just put adhesive on this edge. So you can see my, uh, I didn't roll it enough and so that's why. So we're gonna put adhesive on this edge only. And then I'm gonna take it over again and I'm gonna make sure it's lined up. And adhered. Okay. Apply a little pressure and then you can see that this is going to come off our card quite nicely and of course the more we put it on and off the looser it's going to get. So now we're going to decorate this and that's why it's okay that our fold is at the front because we're going to put the heart and the die cuts over top of that. So I've done the die cuts already and I chose these ones this time and I had them out after there. So this is what I chose this time. This is what I did on my original card. 
So just a little bit different, one's bigger than the other. And they're gonna go across the front here. The thing that you want to make sure, so I actually had this on my card when I did this, is um, I'm working on the wrong card, aren't I? Ha <laughs> ha. Is that it's still gonna fit in your envelope. So we can see, I didn't put enough adhesive on here and it's just popped off, so I'm gonna put another bit right there. Okay. Lining that up again. So I figured out the placement of these little bits so that it's not going to be wider than your card. So I am going to run a tiny bit of adhesive down the middle. We don't need a ton here because we're going to put that heart on. And it's going to hold everything in place. Additionally, what I did after the fact on my original card is I just went around with some glue dots um, from a paper pumpkin kit, those ones that come on the sheet. They're perfect. And just tacked down a couple of these leaves. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to do our heart punches and we are going to be done. So this is the heart punch pack. It was in the mini in the spring and it carried over. So the scalloped one we're going to do again in our shaded spruce. And I chose to stick with the soft sea foam because it's very pretty and I like how easy it is to stamp on. So we will stamp and then we will punch it out. So here's our stamp already. We've got our shaded spruce. So we're gonna ink that up, make sure it's good. Stamp it on there, take our heart and get that centered. It's such a pretty, um, it's a pretty font. It's a lovely saying and it fits perfectly in the heart. So if you have these heart punches and you kind of wanted, I wanted to move away from a circle. Originally I was going to do circle, stitch circle, layered circles. And then I just was kind of like, you know what? We are always doing circles. I myself, I'm always using circles. So I thought, hi Amy, that I would switch to the heart. So I just adhered all of this flat. We don't really want any dimensionals on this card because the card is already thicker because it's the fancy fold. And if you want to be able to put it in your envelope, you just don't want to add any extra depth or dimension to it, I should say. So we've got our adhesive there. We're going to put it on our heart, center it on the heart. The scallop. These colors are beautiful together too. That's the other thing about this um, whole suite is all these greens together so gorgeous. They all coordinate so nicely. I have so many greens. Green is actually my favorite color, so I already had a uh, cardstock full of every green you could get, so this one is perfect for me. I'm going to take this off only because I don't want, uh, in case I've put adhesive where I didn't need it, which I might have. I wasn't really thinking about that when I did the heart although I think it pretty much fills the whole thing. I don't want it to stick to my card. We are going to center it. Like, come saw. And then I'm just gonna press from the back to really make sure we're good. Oh, I'm good, I don't have any adhesive where we don't need it. And there is the belly band finished. The only other thing I added, I added some pearls. So you can add whatever embellishment you like, uh, pearls, rhinestones, none if you chose. We're going to slide that band back on. I like the pearls because the card is white, 
So I put a couple of pearls on there. And then like I said, I had a bunch of these paper pumpkin um, glue dots. You could also just use the glue dots, the normal glue dots. And I would stick a couple of dots underneath each of those leaves, just so they're not uh, flapping off so much. I'm just going to quickly grab the pearls, show you where I would put those. Of course, wherever you want. I used the smallest, so I would maybe stick a pearl. I think on this one, I'm going to put one up there. And then we're going to put one here. And we are going to put one there. Voila, there it is, my friends. There is the accordion fancy fold. Um, I will type out the measurements and I will put those below in the comments so that you don't have to watch back through and try to find them again in case you missed it or you weren't writing it down. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully it all makes sense. Um, so find your prettiest pack of DSP and get creating. You won't regret making this card. Like I said, you can make the band, you can use the ribbon. Happy Canada Day, have a great day. And, uh, we will connect again soon. Thanks everyone.